Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today I will be showing you how to get the most performance out of your NVIDIA graphics card. Now this will work on any NVIDIA GPU, including older ones, new ones, even the new 4000 series whenever that releases. So whenever, let's say you upgrade a graphics card, you will be ready. You can follow this guide and get the most performance out of your GPU. Now I will have links down below for everything that you need to download. Follow the guide. It will go in order of the download links and let's now let's get into it. We are going to start off by actually removing your current Nvidia driver. So what we're going to do is actually I'd recommend installing two things right now. DDU display driver on installer. This is what we're going to be using to remove your GPU driver and then also NVclean install 1.12. 1.13 is out but I will recommend 1.12 because there's one setting that was actually removed in 1.13, 1.12 fixes this. So I would highly recommend using 1.12. If not, you might run into some issues, especially if you don't have a Microsoft account logged in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna download DDU, then you wanna hit Windows key and R on your keyboard, Windows key and R. So right here, you're just gonna type in msconfig. You wanna go to the boot tab, check safe boot, hit apply, hit okay then restart. Now your PC will restart into safe mode. Okay, here we are in safe mode. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit Windows key and R. Now we are going to type in msconfig one more time. We're gonna hit go to that boot tab. Just uncheck safe boot, hit apply, hit okay. Now hit exit without restart. This will just make sure that it throws you back into normal mode after this. Now I'm just going to type in display driver and installer. Um, sorry, I'm looking over here. I don't have a main monitor right now. So hit options and check prevent downloads of drivers from windows update this will just stop the automatic nvidia driver install which we do not want we do not want the basic driver install this will also stop like razor synapse from installing which is kind of a big deal so what we're going to do now is we're just going to hit select device type gpu if you've had multiple gpus like let's say you used to have like an amd or uh, intel i'd highly recommend doing that but we only have an nvidia right now so check this, now hit clean and restart. This will fully remove the driver from your PC. Just let this finish, it'll restart for you, and then you'll go back in normal mode and we will actually show you how to properly install the driver. So I'm just gonna cut to when that's finished and we're back in normal mode. All right, now we're back on the desktop. I just removed my uh, webcam just so I can see my old screen a lot easier. So what you wanna do now, just open up NV Clean install. Now, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this kind of just do the thing. So I have now it's going to say new drivers, no uh, MV clean install version. You don't need that. Manu select driver version. Just select the newest one. Driver versions do not actually matter. Just use the latest. They're all the exact same. And just be on the latest just because hey, it's a lot easier. So hit next now. Now you could select so you could do recommended. This just through physics and HD audio. You don't actually need these though. If you do all, if you're using something like GeForce Experience, this is what you'll need. But I just recommend minimum, which is just the driver. That's all you need. Now, if you do use GeForce Experience, you'll need all. But let's say, so if you're using something like RTX Voice, you actually don't need the whole GeForce Experience driver suite. You just need the display driver. For example, on my streaming PC, when I'm using uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, I just need the basic driver. So something you want to think about, but now we just want to hit next. And now we're going to let these files um, copy and download. This is just what we need to do. I'm going to stop the video while this downloads, and then I'll come back and show you what to do. All right, so once you get to this, all you'll need to do is you'll need to disable driver installer and telemetry unextended express installation. This just make it a lot easier. Um, perform a clean installation. I'd actually, it's not needed because you're uh, clean installing. NVIDIA, install NVIDIA Control Panel app from Windows Store. This is what they removed in 1.13, so you'll need this, especially if you're not on a, uh, a um, Microsoft account. Show expert tweaks. Disable driver telemetry. Actually, no, do not do this. Um, so enable message signal, just leave this on uh, default. So what this does is this is MSI mode and disable HDCP. This, what this does is this just stops the HD copy protection. If you do have something that needs HD copy protection, you will need to leave this enabled, but I do not have any problems and I cl display clone with a capture card. Now what you'll do is just hit next. It'll do this little thing, hit install. 
and now it will just install the driver for you so as you can see look i'm instantly just installing the driver so this is all you're going to do i will be done i'll be back when this finishes installing and the driver is done all right so now the driver is installed you'll see this so you can close this now because the driver is installed now the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to right click go to the nvidia control panel hit agree and this is all we'll need to do so first i'll go to desktop um, just I like to uncheck the notification tray icon just so it doesn't show up. Some people like to also do the desktop context menu, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, image, video, these are all personal preference. If you actually want to, you can do dynamic range, set this to full. Just make sure that you get all your colors. I'm cloning, so that's why this one doesn't show up, but do this for all your monitors. Multiple um, desktop size and position. This is all personal preference. If you want it to not scale at all, just do no scaling, hit apply. And also, perform scaling on make sure this is on display it's slightly faster so just do that um hccp this will just kind of take its time um just you might need to restart for it to say that it's not running hccp um okay digital vibrance so digital vibrance so override reference mode this just makes it so that you can't actually affect these um digital vibrance changes if you want more vibrant colors as you can see it kind of does that so, um, we're, I'm just not going to touch that. It's all personal preference. So, um, now resolution, make sure that these are running the highest hit NVIDIA. If you want to check 10 bit, do that. All you really need is 8 bit RGB full on both of these, which I have. So I'm just going to hit apply now and my displays are colored. Just make sure they're running the maximum refresh rate and resolution. So 1440p 270 Hertz for me. Configure surrounders <laughs> physics. If you surround, um, I wouldn't recommend that for high FPS that's using multiple monitors for the same game. Just use it on one monitor, especially if you're playing competitively. PhysX settings. Processor. Run this on your GPU. Um, that will be a lot faster. Now, adjust image settings with preview. Here's what you'll want to do. Use my preference emphasizing hit performance. And now you just use, use the advanced 3D image settings. This will just set them to performance so that we have a good baseline. And then you these will make sure that they actually run the correct settings. Manage 3D settings. Now, threaded optimization, we want to turn that on. V-Sync, turn that off. Vertical sync, we just don't want to use that at all. But threaded optimization on, that allows it to use multiple cores for the driver, which does help. Texture filtering quality, high performance. There's no, there's no visual difference at all. I don't know why people are saying there is. If you can notice it, maybe you have insane eyes, but I don't know. Preferred refresh rate. So if you are on a G-Sync monitor, this will say fix refresh. If you want to use G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, any of that, it's up to you personally. But personally, I am just not a massive fan of it. So it adds slightly more input lag. So maybe if you're, if you're playing games significantly below your monitor's refresh rate, do it. But if you're playing a game like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, don't use G-Sync. Prefer power management mode. Use prefer maximum performance. Open GL rendering GPU. Use the use your GPU. Max frame rate. Um, don't cap your FPS in here. Cap it in the game. Low latency mode off. You are not going to want to actually use it in this. You're going to want to use reflex. So, in a game. So, for example, if you're on reflex, if you're on a GPU bound game, Warzone mostly, you want to use enabled. If you're playing a CPU bound game such as Fortnite, Valorant, you're going to use uh, enabled plus boost. That's how, that's what the different modes mean. Um, gamma correction, turn that off. Image scaling, I would not recommend doing this. I've actually tested this. It significantly lowers your FPS. Just hit apply now. And we are actually all done with that. Now what we're going to want to install actually is NVIDIA profile, NV profile inspector. Just click the, just go down to the latest. And I'll click this and it'll start downloading it. I already have it installed though. I'm going to open this now. Now we have at least one change so CUDA force p2 state we're going to want to check that to off what this does is this sets it so that for example there's been times it's kind of like an avx offset on a cpu if you know what that is so in something like obs when you start recording it will downclock your memory this stops it from downclocking so we want to do that now if we scroll down let's see is okay enable ansel you're going to want to check this and do ansel off I will get an error. This is because I am on the display driver, so there's no actual Ansel. If you do have GeForce experience and you do not use Ansel, which most people are not using, I would highly recommend disabling this. So I'm going to say continue. It's because it's not needed. Now close that out. Now this final step 
is just using MSI Afterburner. Now, I will have a full GPU overclock guide coming soon, but right now all we'll be doing is just doing this to cool down your PC. So download MSI Afterburner. Now when I open it, here it is. Let me actually change it to the skin that you guys will see. One thing I actually did forget, so you want to right click your desktop, go to display settings, then you're going to want to scroll down to see <coughs> graphic settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will be slightly faster, give you a little more performance. Um, obviously, if you're actually on Windows 10 and you're running OBS, you might have some problems with this. Keep it on. If you have problems, disable it. If you're on Windows 11, you'll actually have no problems. They fix that all. Okay, so here's the uh, skin you guys will see on MSI Afterburner. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to hit this little setting icon. You're going to want to check unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring. So when you do that, it will be like you need to restart MSI Afterburner, hit yes, now reapply. This will unlock the core voltage percentage. Now, what the core voltage percentage is, is this allows it to go to the full voltage range. There will be a lot of mainstream tech YouTubers say this doesn't matter. This does matter. This will give you significantly more performance. So core voltage, we're going to max that out. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now, also, so I have a maxed out power limit already. So what you want to do is if you are on a, if you're on a, I'm on an XOC BIOS right now, but you're going to want to uncheck right here where it says, um, you want to uncheck that. So it's off and you're going to want to max out the power limit and max out the temperature limit and hit apply. Basically what we're doing here is we're just making sure that it can pull all the power and it won't downclock as much actually at higher temperatures. Next thing we're going to do is fan speed. So uncheck where it says A, and now we will be running a certain fan speed. So for example, for me, I can run about 80%. This is all personal preference and different depending on the amount of noise and the actual GPU you have. So this is just what I like to run. Now you can also run a user defined, but I do not, I don't like this. And here's why, because that requires actually you to have MSI Afterburner open. I'm just not a fan of that. You have to run MSI Afterburner. It's pretty iffy if you ask me. But this will just allow it to get a little bit more performance and it'll be a lot cooler. Cooling is a big deal on these NVIDIA GPUs. The hotter these GPUs get, the less they actually will boost. So you want your GPU to be as, as cool as possible. If your GPU is actually overheating even with a fan speed set, now would be a great time to repaste, get some new thermal paste on it. Maybe some thermal pads if you're on a 3000 series GPU, just do that. And that will actually cool down the, the, it will cool down the graphics card a lot so that you can actually get maybe slightly more boosting, but that might not be needed unless you're actually overclocking, which we will be showing soon. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Yeah. I hope this guide helped. Um, hit that subscribe button. No, bo join the, hit the bell, join the discord and all that stuff. I'll be having NVIDIA GPU guide out very, very soon. So you guys how to get the most actually out of it while overclocking. This is not overclocking. This is just setting settings that are already out for you. So yeah, see you guys.